welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I just wanted to get on camera and show you guys everything that I got from Lush this year for Boxing Day. Um, so I live in Canada. Um, I live in Ontario and unfortunately this year uh, Lush was actually closed down for Boxing Day. Um, we have an Ontario-wide lockdown again be due to that fun little thing that's going around um so i actually purchased uh, my boxing day haul online and so it just arrived today is the 31st and i purchased it obviously on the 26th um so i just wanted to show you guys everything that i got and um uh, Boxing Day at Lush, everything, was, all of their Christmas stuff was 50% off. So let's get to the unboxing. So here is my big box of Lush. And I am just going to set it down beside me over here so that you can still see the little teeny tiny puppy head. This is Lady, my dog. She likes to hang out with me while I get ready. Okay, so I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. So that is the inside of the box. And the cool thing about Lush is that all of these little packing foams are biodegradable. So you just put them in water, put them in the sink with water and rub them around and they go away. So let's grab the first thing out of the box. Let's not get hit with this in my face. So the first thing that I bought was this. This is the Sleepy Soap Stack and it comes with this little tie around it. So inside the Sleepy Soap Sleepy Soap Stack, it came with the Polar Bear Soap, um, and then the Sleepy Soap, and then as well as this cotton thing around it. So let's go ahead and open it up so you guys can see what it's... So um, in terms of Lush products, the Sleepy Soap is by far my favorite scent um, at Lush for soap so far. Um, it's also a wonderful body wash um, and so these were all 50% off and I always stock up on the sleepy soaps anyway so I figured I might as well pick it up. So this is what this little thing looks like, the little bandana. Um, I'm not sure what I'll use that for but I'll have to look online what other people use it for. And then it comes in a little box go ahead and open it and that's what it looks like when you open it there's some of the little polar bear here so as you can see we got the little polar bear his poor little nose got smooshed but so this is a minty smell I can read you the description of that the polar bear soap is coconut oil coconut water and cocoa butter makes this minty sweet vegan sudzer one of the most hydrating soaps to date and then the sleepy soap is right here as well that smells so good so sleepy if you haven't tried it before um, it is soft and soothing tones of coconut oil, oat milk, lavender, and tonka. Not sure what tonka is, but super cute. Okay, so that's my first gift set. So the second gift set that I got, uh-oh, packing peanuts everywhere, was this set called Enchanted. Let me get out of my way. So this little set came with all of these fun goodies included. So the Ocean Salt and Body Scrub, the Candy Cane Lip Scrub, the Full of Grace Facial Serum. It comes with this little wrap around it, the muslin wrap. Um, it also came with the Ultra Blend Facial Cleanser, the Celestial Moisturizer, and the Dream Steam Steamer Tab. Did I say that all correctly? Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox this little bad boy. So I picked this up because I use the Celestial Cream every single day. That's my daily cream, I love it. Um, and I thought I was getting a larger container of it in this packet. 
So there's the muslin. That's actually pretty cute. That's just a nice little muslin wrap, okay? And then this is what it looks like inside. More packing peanuts. So let's just add those to the already mess that I've made over here. Okay. Yeah, so as I was saying, I thought that I was getting a full size of the Celestial, but then when I looked at the details later, I realized it was just a sample size. But I will use this up very quickly. This is the Celestial Moisturizer. So this is a daily facial moisturizer and it smells, I would describe it as like a really light, fresh, baked scent. I have actually ha heard it described as like banana bread or like, um, the word is pancake, pancake batter. That is also what it smells like. Um, so I have until 2022 to use this up, but I know I'll use that up in a day. Uh, the next thing that we got in here, and I was going to purchase this just on its own. So when I saw that it came in a little set, I was really excited. Uh, so this is the Candy Cane Lip Scrub. And that's a terrible little angle of it. And there's a fuzzy on it. And it's all shit. There it is. And inside... Mmm. It is just very minty. So that's what the lip scrub looks like. I've never tried any of their lip scrubs, but it is winter in Canada, so I figured I would like this. So the next thing that I got was the Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser, and I'll show you guys what it looks like from the inside. It's quite a thick cleanser. That's really neat looking. And it does have like a little bit of a beeswaxy smell to it. And when I read the ingredients, it says that it's almond oil, rose water, beeswax, honey, fresh iris extract, um, and then some other things. So that, I'm really excited to try that. It says to just uh, smooth a generous amount all over your face, then wipe it off using a damp cloth or a cotton pad. So I'm very interested to try that. The next thing that came in this set was the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. And this has crap all over it, so don't we love shipping? But what this is, is it's so pretty on the inside. So it's just an exfoliation. Mmm, it's very fresh. Very, very fresh. So I'll be using that like before I shave or after I shave on those self-care Sundays. Very nice. What are the scents of that? Fine sea salt, fresh grapefruit and infused. Super nice. Can't wait to try that. I didn't read everything, but anyway, you get the gist. And the last thing that was in this packet is this little, um, what's it called? Full of Grace Facial Serum. As you can see here, it's in a little packet to keep it safe. Um, I have these facial serums and I've used them before. This is the Argon one. It smells like heaven. Mm, absolute heaven. So this is um, an oil. You rub it in between your hands or you rub it directly on your face. So I find these little facial oils are very nice for the winter time here. I like to put them on before bed. Uh, it's not great to put on underneath your makeup if you have oily skin. It just, it's an extra layer of like oil. So I like to put it on at nighttime, but I got another one, the Full of Grace. And so that was everything that was in that second little packet, the Enchanted packet. So I'm really excited to try out some of these new products. Sorry, I just had to stop for a minute and search everywhere because that gift set is missing something, isn't it? Um, so I am, I never showed the Dream Steam steamer tab and I can't find it. Um, so unless I dumped it back in the box when I was putting some of those peanuts back in. So let we'll have to see at the end. It looks like I'm missing a product. And you know what? The way my shopping has been going this holiday season, I would not be surprised. I have had to take so many things back and return them. And like, I have so many rants that I could go on if that this was a story time channel. Like, I would just go off. But anyway, let's just go on to the next product. And let's just reach in and see what we get now. 
So the next thing we get is, it says season's greetings. And okay, yeah, <clears throat> this is a sweet duo. So this had the snow cake, snow cake cream and the dream cream in it. So as you can see here, it's the snow cake cream and the dream cream. So I was interested to try another type of soap from them. Um, and so this soap says that um, soften up with this vegan soother like oats and soy yogurt for ultra sweet suds. I can't really read that well. So let's get into it. See what this little gift set's all about. Really cute packaging. So you could just give this directly to someone as a gift. Mm -hmm. Look at those packing peanuts, little stars. So here is the soap. Mmm, that's nice. And I have wanted to try their dream cream for a long time. This is just uh, one of their classic body lotions. Yeah, just like, that's not even like half full. It doesn't look the greatest. Looks like I got ripped off. Anyway, dream cream for the body. Wanted to try it. I just said to myself, like, what else did I order? I don't even remember what I ordered. So let's just grab whatever this is. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I grabbed this eggplant bath bomb. I kept seeing it. It's too funny to pass up. <laughs> it actually smells good. I like that smell. So anyway, that was the eggplant bath bomb. That was 50% off. Next. What is this? Ooh. Okay, so this is the Snowy Showers. So this is the three different types of shower gels. And this as well is biodegradable. So that is really cool. So I will flip it around so that you guys can see. So it has the uh, roasting chestnuts on an open fire shower gel. Sorry, I can't hold it still. Uh, the sleepy shower gel and then the yog nog shower gel in this strange packaging. So as I told you guys earlier, sleepy is by far my favorite scent. Ooh, that's a squeaky noise. It's like nails down a chalkboard. And uh, Yognog is yummy as well. If you like, look at how pretty. If you like that, those kind of fresh, um, it's got like chest, not chestnuts. How am I describing this? Spices, yeah, caramel scented spices, for sure. That's a great description, blush, well done. Okay, and I've never tried the roasting chestnuts on an open fire. So I'm very excited to have all of three of these shower gels. Um, so Sleepy is gonna be used up real fast. Yognog is delicious. And let's smell the roasting chestnuts on an open fire. It says a snuggle, snuggly blend of soothing oats and nourishing chestnut puree. Ooh, that's like, it's like Christmas in a bottle almost. That's cool. That smells really good. And since I didn't describe this one very well, I'll read it again. So it says cozy up to creamy caramel scented lathers with a touch of spicy clove. Delish. And now that that's open, I'll have to use that one up first, but what else? I'll still use it anyway. I uh, have literally flipped out the entire box behind me. All of the packing peanuts are on the floor and there is nothing else in the box except for this last product that I purchased. And this is the Polar Bear Plunge Bubble Bar. So I think this is a minty one as well yeah you can smell the mints i love their bubble bars um i like the bubble the bath bombs but i love a bubbly type of bath so that's why i always like to get their bubble bars unfortunately once again in the shipping this little guy's face is smooshed but he'll be smushed and put into a bath really soon anyway so that's all good 
I also just wanted to show you guys that uh, a few other products that I picked up from Lush that are like my favorite products or some new products that I want to try. Uh, when I found out that they were going to be closing um, for the next, what Ontario was telling us, 28 days, um, I decided to go in and pick up a few items beforehand so that I didn't have to worry about shipping or picking it up um, curbside. So as I mentioned before, uh, Celestial is my absolute favorite face cream um so i needed to go and buy another one of these because if i couldn't get it i'd be very sad that i didn't have my face cream so anyway i bought another celeste celestial sorry the second thing that i picked up when i was in the store was this uh kalamazoo and it's actually a beard and facial wash i picked it up for my dad for christmas um but i ended up buying him something else so uh when i was talking to the girl in the store she actually told me that she uses this just as a facial wash herself and it's really a nice smell um and it's a good size of a face face wash so i think i'm going to try this myself as a facial facial wash and let you guys know how it is um i also picked up a another sleepy soap because sleepy soap is my favorite so wanted to make sure that i had backups of these in my house before the store closed down temporarily so i picked up a few of these little charity pot moisturizers they're very sweet the paw the hand and the leaf i know they had some drama about these charity pots this year um but when i looked into it i believe it was the uk that was having drama not the north american uh charity pots so anyway those are two dollars i picked up a few of those and what was the last thing that i got oh yeah i brought back a bunch of my black pots so if you don't know lush has a black pot system where if you return these black pots that they have these black containers they you have to return five of them and then you'll get a free face mask so i returned them and i picked out the um odafix fresh face mask um actually the girl helped me pick it out because i had never the only other face mask I've ever used from Lush is the mask of Magnum Inti. So this has a banana smell to it. So that's what that looks like. And I can't wait to try that out. I told her that I have dry skin and she said this is really great for the winter for dry skin. So she told she recommended this to me. And then on a separate shopping trip. Yeah, I went more than once. <laughs> I ended up picking up this which is called the Odie creamy dreamy and it says that it's a shower cream it's like dusty on the top it says that it's a shower cream but when I read it online it's um sounds like it's like a shower wash so not the greatest smell to it in the world it's not like my uh sleepy soap or anything like that but it says happy smooth skin is just a wash away thanks to lavender chamomile and rose so you just uh lather this all up and then the oat milk helps irritated skin feel school 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 cool and comfortable so very excited to try that in the shower can't wait uh, the next thing that i got was this is their custard rhubarb custard soap so i'm gonna open it up so you guys can see i want to eat it that's how delicious it smells so that's what it looks like as you can see it's like staining the packaging but it smells so good it's really a nice soap the only thing that i find with this soap is that it's a much creamier soap um so it goes by pretty quick like you can go through it much faster than you do the sleepy soap or some of their other harder soaps okay and then finally on that last trip i picked up one of these um it's called the pumice powder foot soap is that what it is pumice power foot soap so this is what it looks like. It's just this little round orangey thing. It smells like oranges. And it's supposed to be, it has 
crunches of pumice actually mixed up in it and it is supposed to be really good for your feet. So um, once again, Canadian winter, I'm going to be trying this to keep my feet nice and moisturized. Okay, so good news. As I was cleaning up, I found it. So it did just fall out of the package. That was my fault. So here is the little tibby to tub. And what are we even doing with this? Do we know? So this is called a Dream Steam Steamer Tab. And you drop into hot water, steamy water, and then lean over and it allows the steam to open your pores. So there you go, a little steamer tab. So thankfully, I don't have to reach out to them for any reason saying that I was missing a product. And just in case anybody was curious, um, for everything that I purchased, so as you can see here, all of the gift sets and bubble bars and things like that. So everything came to $96.42 Canadian with shipping. Um, and I saved a total of $79.38. So I saved about $80 and I spent about a little more than 90. So very happy. I am really happy with everything that I got for Boxing Day. Um, there was one gift set that had all of the sleepy bubble bar, the sleepy bath. It was like a big set. Um, that one was already sold out by the time I went online and made my purchase. So that was the only thing that I wanted to get that I didn't get this year. Um, but other than that, I'm very happy. It came so quickly. The shipping was really super fast. Um, now that I'm looking at it, uh, even though my store is closed in Ontario, if I go onto the Lush website, I can still place an order to pick it up in store. We do have curbside pickup still available here in Ontario. So anyway, that is everything that I picked up from Lush. Uh, everything that I got a couple days before Christmas and then also everything that I got during the Boxing Day sale. Um, and so if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Um, if you enjoyed this kind of content, then please subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!